Now, Kristen, you look very familiar. Are you, are you a DJ? You were on a challenge before. Yeah, I did the last one. And I literally paid just to tell you something. Because <laughs> I was like, I will not have access to my room any other way. So I'm going so you to join this the challenge, challenge again. You, you yes, join the challenge to... again as a VIP because you wanted to tell me something. So guess and what I'm going to do? I'm going to let you tell me anything you want to tell me. Listen. Oh, my God. Because y'all know this man's an hour of this man's time is far more than what we all pay and combined. Okay. $25,000. <laughs> So having said that, I was like, I need to get out here and tell him this. So my name is uh, KB. I'm a, I'm a DJ professionally, and um, I DJ for the Indiana, uh, Indiana Pacers here in Indianapolis. I've been doing that since 2013. Um, but a few years ago, after I had my daughter, I wanted to do something different. So I started a company called Heart Combos. I wanted to help millennial women navigate tension that happens in friendship. So I am an advocate for friendship. I'm an advocate for relationships. Um, I'm a Christian, love the Lord. And so I really believe that uh, relationships, friendships are very, very important to God and should be important to us. So having said that, um, the pandemic hit and obviously as a DJ, I couldn't do as many events. So that being the case, I was like, all right, I got to figure out now how to take this thing that was kind of like a hobby on the side and make some money off of it. So I created a 14 day friendship challenge that really helps women, you know, in that way. And then after that, people were like, well, what's next? And I was like, I don't have anything next. So then I created a, a coaching group uh, situation that was like a six week thing. And then they were like, well, what's next after that? And so I found myself kind of getting stuck in this cycle that you guys will learn about of tactics, strategies, tactics, strategies. And um, I took the I took the make more offers challenge because I have been listening to Mr. Myron uh, for probably since You can just call me Myron, Christy. You don't, all right. you don't have to call me Mr. Myron. <laughs> all right. I've been listening. I mean, I know I have white hair on my face, but it's all right. We're going to be all right. But see, it's respect, really. It really is respect. I appreciate not just, that. It's not uh, an age thing. It's really because you are in your zone of genius and you are brilliant. And so, and Thank have a, a, a blessed gift. Um, so I've been listening to him since 2019. And when I saw him doing this challenge, I was like, this is the only way I'm really gonna be able to get into this man's world. Cause I can't afford him any other way, right? Got yeah, I'm gonna help here. you with that too. Cause there's no such thing as can't afford. Here's the, it, and you right. It you're only right. existed here, come on. You're right. And so I joined the, I joined the challenge in the general admission last, last time. By Wednesday, I was like, I need to upgrade. So there's a little button in the membership that gives people the opportunity to upgrade if you don't actually buy the VIP outright, which I was like, that's brilliant. Because listen, I have changed my mind. So I changed my mind. I upgraded on Wednesday. I asked him, a, I got the opportunity to ask him a question. And he completely just revolutionized the way that I was doing my work. So I was kind of making the goal of what I was championing to people that they needed these specific type of relationships. And he said to me, he said, it sounds like to me, what you're trying to communicate to people is that relationships are the bridge to the thing that they want, not actually the thing that they want. And when he said that, it just kind of like opened my brain in a way where I was like, oh my gosh, that was the levy. Like it, it just, everything broke for me. Everything that, that I felt like I, the resistance that I had been feeling, like why am I not really getting through to people? And again, I've, I've had some success but couldn't make a living off of it. Anyway, at the end of the challenge, he's going to challenge you to do something specific. I messed around and actually listened to this man and made $24,000 in three days. Oh, oh. <laughs> Legit. <laughs> Legit. Congratulations. You gave me never, chills. I had never even sold anything more than $500 in the you know year and a half, two years that I really been like charging people for stuff. And at the end of, I don't want to give anything away, that's why I'm speaking kind of vaguely, but at the end of the challenge, he's going to challenge you to, do, to, make a, to make an offer, right? And I was like, okay, I'm about, I know I'm about to make an offer. And that offer was going to be $97 a month for my, for my membership because I have a membership. But I was like, but what if I listen to him and I, and I, and I make a second offer uh, for this specific thing that's like $5,000? I was like, ain't nobody going to pay me $5,000 for nothing. <laughs> like I, just, I, don't, I don't believe it. But this is what's, this is what's interesting. Um, I made the offer. Uh, and, I, and here's the thing. I don't know about y'all, but even if you're at a place where you're like, you can't really, you can't afford for somebody to just tell you who, who's already kind of achieved achieve the thing that you've achieved, then you're going to have to, you have to work harder. You have to work harder to get the information. I've probably seen every video that this man has ever done online, on YouTube, literally. After that challenge, I was like, I have to really like get this. So every day, it's just been a part of my routine to listen to something that he has done. A podcast, a YouTube video, he's on Clubhouse. I mean, this man has dropped so much knowledge that there's no reason really that you shouldn't get what you get so anyway i made the offer and the very first day two people bought i, I looked at my husband i said i just had a ten thousand dollar day <laughs> I, like, I don't even know what that means 
And by and three days later, by the end of it, I had I had four women sign up. So and it was only open for five, a five day window, the opportunity. So four women purchased. That was a huge win for me. And the momentum that I felt that week. And since then, I was like, I have to put myself in a sp- in that space again if I can, because I honestly, I'm about to make another offer here in May. And I was like, see, here's the thing. If he <laughs> does what he did last time, then I'm going to have more confidence, more ability, more uh, more capacity, I guess, to just jump in. 